Government factors are also factors influencing income distribution. How do you now influence this income distribution? We have looked the costs. How do you now influence it? Government factor is one of them. How do you use your policies? The main approach to improving equity is in, in income distribution is through government tax and transfer system. I've talked about the progressive, the regressive, and the proportionate. All of them affect your Unfortunately, tax is not too important in Nigeria because we have oil, so nobody talks about tax. So it will be a daunting tax for us to begin to advocate how we use tax to reduce inequality. It may not go a long way. Changes in the level of economic growth. When economic activity is high, we all know that employment does what? Increases. Participation in the production process leads to more people earning in income which increases the income of people in the lower screen type and closes the gap between the low and the high income group. On the other hand, where economic activity is low, like we have witnessed in the last one year, what does it result? Unemployment increases. And when unemployment increases, what do you, what do you expect? Inequality begins to widen. The gap begins to increase because more people will now depend on fewer number of the population for their daily bread. Equity resource efficiency. Also, we have to know that in, when we talk about equality, we, we have to look at equity. We also have to look at what? Efficiency. Efficiency is about getting the best use out of what you have, you have and therefore using it effectively. Uh, but equity is about being what? Fair and what? Just in your distribution. Uh, I don't know whether people from National Planning are here. They are on their way. Yes, because I still challenge them to tell us how they come up with the so-called budget envelopes, which they give to all the MDAs. How do you come up with the envelopes? Who decides what the envelopes are? Let's know whether the envelopes are brown or white, and why uh, that of women affairs will be brown, that of works will be white, that of uh, education will be blue. It is something you don't do in secret. People discuss it in Europe. You can see that in the United States, uh, Trump has already started having problems. Yes, he's to, he will present his budget in September, but they've already started predicting what will be his budget. And there is already a debate whether that budget will work or people will not look at it. Some lawmakers are already threatening that if this comes into the budget, that means nobody is going to look at the budget. In fact, I had him the other day threatening that he will shut down the government if they refuse to fund the war uh, against Mexico. And people are now asking, when you were campaigning, you said Mexico will pay. Why now you want to put it in our budget for us to pay? Go and get the money from Mexico. He hasn't yet presented the budget, but people have already started doing work anticipating the budget and debating, waiting for the budget to come. In fact, the other day, he did, if he said Nigeria, he would have said, fuck you to Mikhail when he was uh, 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 trying to respond to what Mikhail said. That is what efficient equity means. Because people are looking at, how do you have a fair share? People are beginning to ask questions. Why should we have this particular problem? You have not attended to it. And what you want is to build a wall. We have to attend to problems that will solve inequality. So that's